but over time, I learned strategies while reading easier books that will help me solve longer words and chapter books. Great example, Brian. Our mindset or thinking grows when we understand we can and will learn new things. I think I'm starting to get the picture, Adelie. I believe everyone in our audience will grow to understand too, because the entire show is dedicated to the learning about the power of yet. Well, now let's get started.
Dana for Film Leadership in Action. <laughs> Following the habits and leadership paradigms help us to have a growth mindset centered in achieving our goals. We see goal settings as a journey, not a race. Yes, it is our journey to our future. Now please learn the first grade leaders, great Alani Rinder and Anthony Logan from Miss Payne's class. They will be telling us how the classroom helps them prepare for each day and live out the power of yet. Hi, my name is Anthony. Thank you for coming to our leadership day. We're on first grade and we start each day off with a morning song. It is called Future. It makes me feel confident. Alani, why don't you tell them about our morning song? Thank you, Anthony, and thank you all for coming today. Our song is called Future and it reminds us each day that we really are future leaders. We will all grow up and become many important things. Some of us do is become teachers, doctors, firefighters, principals, mayors, and veterinarians. I believe in the top grade is not happy with
I am a former Eugene Field student. I'm a sixth grade student at the Pupper Bluff Middle School. Thank you for being here today. My sister Abby goes to this school where they're inspiring and empowering new informal leaders. This school is a great school. The program they use here is called the Leader of Me where they talk about useful habits to use in everyday situations. Today I will talk about how the Leader of Me has helped me become who I am today. To start way back in 2011, I started out a shy, scared, and bashful first grader. The seven, <clears throat> the seven habits help me become more social and active. Being more social has led to having great teachers and friends who have had my back for a long time. Because of the Leader of Me program here at Eugene Field, I am now an active member of the Junior Beta Club, the Honor Choir, Kids on Broadway, and I have maintained a honor roll for the last two years. Thank you, community, for being here today. I thought 
about what I've learned about leadership to help me create my personal mission statement, which is to love and care about my family, friends, and studies so I can keep a growth mindset and achieve my goals. I know that my mission statement will change as I grow older and value different things that I feel like I failed my purpose for now. Last year, while on the photography team, I learned to use and take care of cameras and how to take pictures. The posters out in the hallway were taken by me with help of Miss Suda and some other kids. Plus, I got to use Miss Suda's professional camera. One day, my grandma saw an ad in the newspaper about a photography contest at Mingo National Wildlife Refuge in Popsicle, Missouri. Now I'm going to talk about taking the pictures. So one day, I had to help Paul Hay, and I was taking pictures with my mom's phone, and I took a picture of a clover flower. It was one of many pictures I had taken. As the deadline got closer, I asked some friends in Minnesota which one they liked best. The clover flower won. So I entered it in the contest. I won a certificate and a check for $25. I was so excited. My mom and I went to Mingo for the opening of the display, and I got to cut the ribbon with the giant scissors. It was a great day and all because of the skills that I learned on the photography team. Thank you, Ms. Burnett and Ms. Warren, for all of your help. It paid off. Next up is Michaela Cantu, who will talk about her experience speaking at the Leader Me Symposium. Good morning, everyone. My name is Michaela Cantu. I'm a third grade teaching assistant, student lighthouse member, and a public speaking leader at Eugene Field. I was honored to be chosen as a student speaker at the 2018 Leader Me Symposium on February 7th. Ms. Robertson, my second grade teacher last year, nominated me and I was chosen over many middle school aged applicants in the St. Louis area. I had a fantastic time. <laughs> I attended the two day symposium with Ms. Robertson, Ms. Luna, Ms. Thurston, and Ms. Taylor. I got to go to the mall. I stayed in a fancy hotel, and I even got to go to Starbucks. <laughs> My responsibility was to introduce the closing keynote speaker, Brad Montague. Mr. Montague is a writer and director who founded Kid President. I had to do research on Mr. Montague's accomplishments and then write a two-minute speech about him. I spoke to an audience of over 600 teachers and administrators. I visualized what my speech looked like on the back wall of the convention center. My delivery was perfect. <laughs> Mr. Montague thanked me on stage and then later tweeted our picture with a message that he was honored to have me introduce him. Well, the honor was all mine, Mr. Montague. I was also featured on our school district's emails, emails newsletter and appeared on the Gay Face 12 Facebook page. This was an amazing experience that I will never forget. Next up are our life skills leaders who are going to be talking about their lead time activities this year. Good morning. We are our life skills leaders and my name is Zaylin Zayn Makalini and I am in the first grade. Hi, I'm Ivy Baker. And I am Leah Scarlett. When you're a life skill leader, you have found skills in helping others. You learn skills that help you make new friends while synergizing. You also learn new skills that could be helpful now and later in our lives. You learn the importance of giving back to others and being a community helper. Our mission statement is ready to move proactively and for as well as take the most possible while learning new things we we listen for qualities that life school leaders shall have. We then went back and circled all the words that meant the most important to us. Proactive, safe, smart, and responsible. We then used those words to create a mission statement. Part of being a life school leader is learning how to be a community helper. Our first community helper project was creating things, giving placements, for senior citizens and person home. We also practiced decorating cookies and building wooden toolboxes with materials donated by the Home Depot. Soon we will have a technology day where we get to experiment with 3 and virtual reality. We are also looking forward to hatching our chickens next spring. 
You will learn about the daily development aspects of their growth in the incubator. The incubator is going to learn the new experiences and growth of things. Thank you. Have a great day. Leaders for sharing how your leadership team helps you develop a growth mindset and believe in the power of it. Okay, everyone, now comes the best part touring our building and classrooms. A few of our students will, bring, will take each group on a building tour to see three assigned classrooms. When you get to the classrooms, please feel free to talk to students and ask them questions. When we are finished, the student leaders will bring you back to our gym for refreshments for the second half of our program.